Hello, Spatula Games. Uh, I uh, I don't know how to say this, but I, I finished Chapter 6 uh, last night, and I wanted to preface that video with this video. And, uh, wow. <clears throat> I think we all know how the story goes at this point. I don't think there's anybody that's unaware how the story goes. But the game... The game was being so strange. Uh, it was glitching out and being buggy like I've never seen before. And it was kind of coming and I could see it. Like the, uh, I had to unequip the, the talismans because they were floating in midair. Things were really getting strange. And the train robbery, I couldn't even finish because the game was acting up. I had to skip it. I had to skip it to keep gameplay going. Uh, so I don't know what that means going forward. Um, here I am in epilogue. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how the game is going to act. I may need to take a break from it or uh, just cautiously uh, go forward and see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what to do. I'd hate to give up on, uh, you know, total completion of this game, but I don't know what to do. So I guess I'll tread ahead carefully and see what happens. I don't even know how I'm going to edit the video yet, uh, but I will do that and uh, get that uploaded when I can. Uh, but I may need to start playing other games at this point. So uh, we'll see what happens, but like I said, I just wanted to preface that video with this, let you know what was going on, and uh, hey, let's just see what happens. Okay, hey guys, Spatula Games back here with more Red Dead Redemption 2, and uh, I will be ending Chapter 6 in this episode, And uh, but there is one thing left to do. And that is like, subscribe, hit notifications. I'm only kidding. We have the legendary gator. It's the only legendary animal that I don't have at this point. So first things first, we're getting a legendary gator. Finally, finally, we have a clue. Wow, this took days to get. Uh, want that. And this. And there it is. Days in the making, the first clue. Broken sticks. Got some ground to cover. All righty. Probably gators everywhere. There we go. Carcass. Looks a way off. Alrighty. Legendary Gator. Come here, Gator. Always do it the easy way. Red eye.
Right on. Finally. So let's take a look at our legendaries. This is the legendary bull gator. Gator, bear, beaver, bison, boar, buck, coyote, fox, elk, moose, the panther, bighorn, and the wolf. All right, now where's my horse? Hopefully I can get out of here without getting eaten. Easy now. <laughs> You're a good boy. All right, here we are at the trapper. Good to see you again. So yes. what do you have for me? You're not gonna believe it. Right, let's see. Legendary alligator skin. 50 doll hairs. Boy, the things I can make with this. I know. Let's take a look at those. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. One of my favorite outfits. Not going to get it right yet. Right there it is. The hat. The cloak. The hat and the vest, come on. And the boots. My favorite. Oh, I don't care about the gloves, but the, look at this. The boots. I've run this stall all the, the vest way from here to the border. And the hat. The northern border, that is. And we'll be coming back for that later. All right. So that's wrapping up the loose ends. Thanks. Okay, so fella. The last uh, legendary I can get for right now. Sun's coming up. I wonder if I can plop down right here. Easy. Whoa. Yep. We're here to get it on. Well, at least you ain't run off. What you talking about? Pearson left. Old uncle. The traitors. Both gone at dawn. They said to young Tilly they were running to save themselves. I think Mary Beth left as well. So it goes. They are goddamn cowards. Arthur, cowards. Of all the time we spent to run off. Well, I guess they don't want to die, Dutch. Ain't nobody gonna... Nobody's died yet. Oh wait. This is a tough time. And you ain't you ain't doing too well. But we our community, we will survive. They will not crush us. I hope so. But if we let Jack and the women free, well then there maybe ain't we no can freedom for no one in this country. Arthur's no trying. Arthur. One more big score, we got enough money to leave. All this turmoil has the army and Pinkerton spinning. We take a boat and slip away. I don't know what you're saying, Dutch, but it seems like I've heard it all before. Just one more and train. And a goddamn train. Arthur, <laughs> this is different. We know this is full of cash. Army payroll, money and supplies to repair the bridge that you blew. This is all going to plan we rob uncle sam and we leave <laughs> the poetry of it all what do you think it sounds wonderful sure hell yeah i ain't got much look at this so this game has been bugging out so bad lately that his offhand holster isn't even showing up 
I had to turn the talismans off because they were floating in midair. To lose, but you know the women and the children and John and his family. I'm afraid I have to insist. I mean, we gotta let them go. Cause That's if right. Pinkertons come through again, they will kill everyone. John, insist. That's right. Yeah. Insist. Of course, pal. Whatever you think is best, I will see to it. I hmm? bet you will. Now, are we gonna rob a train? Sure. We will survive. We will flourish. We have work to do, my friends. Let's go. Come on. We are gonna borrow a little money from old Uncle Sam and be out of his hair once and for all. That's right. Insists. That's right. Let's ride out, gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah. And Sadie. Taking over Van Horn. Moved a whole heap of men in there. Things are closing in fast. Shit. Hmm. Should be just through these trees. There it is. <laughs> you can never have too much dynamite. I'll get the dynamite. No, I can I'll get it. it. Sure, I'm fine. Okay, it's in the back. Got it. All right, let's get this done. No point putting this off any longer. So I agree. Abigail just told me. The money? It's hidden in the caves at Beaver Hollow. What? Yeah. <laughs> so much for never hiding it near camp. The Dutch was getting even sloppier than we thought. Are Abigail and Jack ready to leave? I think so. Okay. Whatever happens with this job today, <laughs> wherever Dutch and them go next, we're getting you the hell out of here. We're going to get you the money you need. Knowing the three of you got out, well, maybe all of this will still mean something. <laughs> Tilly and Susan, too. I'll do whatever it takes. You've always had my back, Arthur. Well, uh, perhaps not always. Not always. Anyway, here we go. One last train. We sure Arthur. got it now. One last train. Dutch and a stogie. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Got everything? 
Oh yes. Yeah. Then off we go. Off we go indeed. <laughs> One last time, gentlemen. I got us a river boat. We'll head up to New York or Chicago and get a real boat from there out to the tropics. Okay, just checking. As long as it isn't Guarma. Oh, it'll be paradise, son. It's not Guarma. All coming together, Dutch, just like we planned. That okay with you, John? Arthur? Or do you insist on something different? Sounds about as good now as every time I heard it before. That's oh, right, John. Abigail must be real excited. All packed up like she is. I could just see her in the little grass skirt. Don't talk to me, you son of a bitch. Boys, boys, okay now, let's keep it down. We don't want to draw attention to ourselves going through here. Nice and easy through town, fellas. Ah, Saint Denis. It's good to be back. My Happy memories, huh, John? We you shut up, Mackie? That's enough. Fire. All of you. Mike is a turd. Not much further now. Calm day in San Benet. Hold on. Huh? All right. Cleet, Sadie, Cleet. Get board halfway along. John, you and Arthur are gonna board at the back. Rest of you, follow Mike and I, and join once they stop the train. Here she comes. And there she goes. Should I just sneak on now? <laughs> God damn it. Well, well placed comedy. Mount up. We still going through it this? Of course we are. Come on, thoroughbred. Come on, Arthur. I'm we trying. Get on that train. What do we got here? Yeah, I took my shotgun away. Sneaky game. Come on, thoroughbred. All right, here it goes. No. Money's in the front carriage. We gotta push forwards quick before we run out of track. Go to hell! I'm in a cow tag for a ride! Let's just go over the top. Ha ha ha! How you like that incendiary, huh? You're dead. Oh. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Who got fire? Let's go, John. Oh, yeah.
<laughs> oh. I didn't do that one. He did. Come on, Dutch. <laughs> All right, let's get back on there. Come back on. A couple of cash before it blows us all up. Morning. The train's being robbed. Lay the gun, Arthur. Sure. That's all Dutch cares about is the money. Whatever you do, do not stop the train. You secure up ahead, but keep us moving. I'll deal with that patrol when they come through. Oh boy. We got a lot of riders on our tail. Shut up, Cleet. Moron. Nice. That's right. Tell him, Sadie. Tell him. Let's go. Come on. The money should be in the front care. <laughs> okay, quick. Let's blow up. Let's go. The money's in there. I'm trying. What just happened? Oh! <gasps> what is going on? What is happening? You gotta be kidding me!
Oh, come on. What's going on? What? A buggy, like I said. Okay, get off the goat. We need to go for the money. Come on. The money should be in the front carriage. Here we go again. <laughs> Look out, Cleet. Hey, quick. Let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go. The money's in there, Terry. Okay. Alright. This better blow this thing. Let's shoot it this time. Go. Ah! No? What is going on? I don't believe this. Dude, what is going on? Is it up there? I don't know, what's going on? I have never seen this in my entire life. Wow. Can I go over? No? I don't know what's going on. What is, what is going on? Just blow me up. Blow me up. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Throw it. Throw it. I don't care. Just stand right here. Watch. What is going on? Jump off. I don't know what else to do. Am I going to have to restart the mission? I have never seen this before in my life. Okay, get off the goat. We need to go for the money. Come on. The money should be in the front carriage. Galloway, Cleet. Okay, quick. Let's blow up. Let's go. The money's in their carriage. All right. This better blow this thing. Here we go. Okay, get back. Look at that! Are you kidding me? Shut up, Sadie. Just get off the...
This is unbelievable. I have never seen something so screwed up. I ain't doing it over. I'm skipping it. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Gosh. We got something. We got something. Finally. Catch. Yeah. Wait. There's more. <gasps> that is so stupid. Morgan, the driver's dead. This thing ain't stopping. We got to get off. Okay, then. Let's go. move finally where's John I tried I tried he didn't make it that patrol killed him we had to run come on let's go they're liars one other patrol turns up they didn't even try to save him Well, that was a disaster. Sorry to hear that. We gotta let her go. John's, uh, well, sorry, son. Without John, That's terrible. she's just bait. Got a bunch of money, Dutch. She's just a girl. They won't do nothing to her. But me and the boys know. Clean we need Joe. To keep riding on this one, Dutch. You know it. Every man here knows so it. All dr old Driscoll's. An orphan? It ain't like that. What is it like? I wanna live, cowpoke. I think Still Micah was with choice. the Odriscolls for Dutch. a while. It's just a girl. You're right. That's uh, where he got Cleet and Joe. Uh, it pains me to say it, Arthur. But he's right. No, Arch. he's not. Come on, boys. Yeah. Yeah. God damn years. Come on, Arthur. Let's go get her. You and me is all we need. Miss Tilly. Here. Take this. You take this money, too. Take Jack, and you wait at Copperhead Landing for Abigail and Mrs. Adler. Thank you, Arthur. You're a good girl. You live a good life now, you hear? All right, Arthur. I'll... I'll miss. Me too, sweetheart. Me too. Jack, come here. Be brave, son. I'm gonna go get your mama. Mrs. Adler! Ride with me! If they're putting her on a boat, They'll probably dock at the north end of town. So I reckon we should go in the other way. Sure, I guess. I don't know. God, those goddamn bastards. Look, just follow me, okay? We're gonna get this done, Arthur. That's right. Let's go, Sadie. Now 
what, he don't care if he orphans his French child so long as he gets rich? All this goddamn talk all them years. Yep. Seems like it was always a lie. Yep. Or he went crazy. Both. Yes. Sure. Guess he began to believe he was God or something. I don't know. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. Into us. Listen, if you hadn't shown up in my house that night, I'd be dead. And even this bullshit beats dead. I thought I could find a way to get John, Abigail, and Jack out of this mess. To give them a life. Seems I left it too late. If we could still get Abigail, maybe her and Jack will be okay. John, Hosea, Mac, Davy, Jenny, Sean, Lenny. We have to put an end to this. <coughs> an eagle flies. Another angry fool he used just like he did with the rest That's of us. That's right. Like I said, Arthur. We don't need them. We're gonna make this right. Me and you together. What's left of it. Now come on. Okay, here we are. Let's ditch the horses and come up with a plan. Okay. Van Horn. How you feeling? I'm okay. I think you should cover me and I'll go in there and get her. Cause you're the better shot, I mean. That ain't what you mean. I can still fight. I know, Arthur. But just do it my way, honey. It's for the best. Get up someplace high, like the lighthouse or something, and cover me, please. Okay. Okay. Get. I knew it was going to give me a scoped weapon. Gotta keep up ahead of her. This guy up there. That's right. Gotcha. 
<laughs> Thought I'd try it anyway. Shit. And there you have it. Okay, Mr. Milton. My turn. I'm gonna have to talk this out like gentlemen. Well, not exactly. Headshot.com. Where's that guy coming from? All right, let's go. Oh, oh. Did I get him? Nice. Why? Reload. He was putting like two rounds in again. Let's go! Let's go! Kidding me? Take him down now. Ah! Kidding me? Headshot.com. Ah! Are you kidding? Nope, nope. Right in the throat. Can we go now? Headshot.com. Calm down, Mr. Morgan. That's quite a cough. Sure. Tuberculosis. I'll be dead soon. And you with me, Mr. Milton? You'll be dead, sure. But I'm gonna be just fine. Not lacking in confidence, is he? deal, Mr. Morgan. You should have taken it. I'm a fool, Mr. Milton. Not all you boys have quite so many scruples. Old Micah Bell. Micah? You mean Molly? Molly O'Shea? Sweated her a couple of times, never talked a word, had to let her go. Wow. Micah Bell. We picked him up when you boys came back from the Caribbean. Not sure He's this been a fits 100%, ever but... Since. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using your strength, Mr. Morgan. Oh, you're still a yapping dog, Mr. Milton. Thanks, Abigail. Horrible man. True. Now come on, both of you. Let's go. Find the horses. We need to get the hell out of here. What happened to Jack? Where is he? Oh shoot. He's fine. Tilly's got him. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Abigail, you right. 
front man. What are you doing? Get on, Arthur! Get on, Arthur! Get on! Come on! to John. Where's John? I, I don't know. We don't know. <clears throat> Arthur. He... What? He got killed or he what? got captured. No. I'm really sorry. No! Abigail, I'm, <laughs> I was on the train and I didn't see it. No! Jack, he's safe. <laughs> Mrs. Adler will take you to him. But, John, I want you to know this. He loved you. He loved you, and Jack, he did. He wasn't perfect, but he did. He came now, around. He wasn't too good in the you beginning. Go get that boy. Come on, get out of here. Arthur, what are you doing? I gotta go have a little chat. Before That's I right. Get much sicker. No, Arthur. Don't you owe Arthur me. Neither of you two. Not now. You both know. <clears throat> You're good women. Good people. The best. You go get that boy. There'll be time for sorrow later. If you're headed back there, Arthur, take this. I don't need it anymore. What's that? There's a chest in them caves, in the back to the left, hidden under a wagon. Duchess chest. All our money. I know John told you I knew where it was. That's a lot. <sighs> Abigail Roberts. Always was a good thief. <laughs> that she <you> was. <laughs> Go on, get out of here. Here we go with the copyright. <clears throat> the many miles we walk, the many things we learn, the building of a shrine. That's the way it is. That's, That's the, way the way it is. Well, you're a good man. 
I just wish you'd done it before you worked yourself into the grave. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. May the wind be at your back. Good fortune touch your head. May the cards lay out astray All from your command That's the way it is That's the way it is You saved my life Jimmy Brooks you're a good man. Thank you, Bella. J. John Weathers. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. Maybe it's a sign, Arthur. Try. Try to do the good thing. Get them bags packed up quick, Miss Grimshaw. Come on. Now who's trying to run All the show? You. Well, we're doing our best. Hurry. We ain't got long. Hurry. We just got plenty of time, Micah. That's right. We all need to have a little chat. Black Long, you're back. Hooray. <coughs> I just saw Agent Milton, Dutch. Abigail shot him. She's okay. Not that you care too much about right. that. You rats. All of you. Seems old Mike was pretty close with Milton. Yep. What the hell are you talking about, cowpoke? You talked. That's a goddamn lie. Dutch. Dutch. Think, Think of the he future. was talking to O'Driscoll's Milton too. Milton told me. <laughs> and you believe him, Black Lung? You believe him? It all makes sense now. No. It damn well doesn't. Dutch. Think. Dutch. Be practical now. Dutch! John? There's John. You left me. You left me to die. My boy. I didn't have a choice. John, I didn't... You! I didn't have a choice. You left me! All of you? You pick your side now because this is over. All oh, them years, Dutch, for this snake. <laughs> oh, be quiet, cowpoke. Be quiet. You live in the clouds. No, you be quiet, Mr. Bell. Thanks, Susan. And put down <clears throat> your gun. There's Pinkerton's coming fast. <laughs> now! So Micah shoots Susan. Who amongst you is with me? And who is betraying me? There's the sides. Well, I'm here. Think. Think for yourself. He's lying. Do we know Bill He's and Javier are in lying. Red Dead Redemption? Put your guns down! God damn it! Move! You ready, John? Yeah. Everyone get down! This is Ingram Rock! Headshot.com. There's another one. 
Thanks, Micah. Let's go. Oh yeah, we do. Keep going. There they are. Drop that cocksucker. Those bastards left me for dead. Seems that's what they do now. I see them over here. Let's go, Arthur. Push. Go. Oh. Michael was the rat, John. Milton told me. <coughs> we should have killed him months ago. True. Come on, Arthur. With me. Just I'm trying. <coughs> Are you all right, Arthur? I'm with you. Keep going. Arthur, you go up first. Let's go, John. Abigail. Abigail's safe. So's Jack. Where are they? It was Sadie. The Copperhead landed. Thank you, brother. I want you to not look back. Like I said. Let's go, John. <laughs> And look at him, they're shooting at us now. Shut up, Micah. Arthur, we gotta go! Come on, ride! Pinkerton's in the trees ahead! Look out! There's an army of these sons of bitches! Easy. Okay, Come let's go. On, I can't see. Four on the left. Let's leave him for death. Yep. Shit. They're everywhere. And there it is. <clears throat> okay. There goes my thoroughbred. Come on, brother. Let's go. Give me a second. Come on! Push, Arthur! Thank you. Arthur! That's harsh. Come on, Arthur. Yeah. Let's go. Well, what about the money? Abigail gave me the key. I head down there, I'm dead in five minutes. I got a family. That's more important. Uh, maybe you're right, but... Uh, you want the money? You head down. I gotta go to my family. Let's I'm go, gonna John. You. I'm gonna get you out of this bullshit if it's the last goddamn thing I do. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit! Let's go! We need to find higher ground! Don't worry about this! Trying. I'll just be going back for the money! We need to get the hell out of here! Give me 
Trying to rock! God damn it! They're everywhere! Get out! <laughs> All right. Dynamite always works. All right, Arthur, well, come on, let's go. You go. Unless you're on a train. Keep pushing, Arthur. No. <coughs> no. I think I've pushed all I can. Come on, you go. We ain't got time for this. Not now. We ain't both gonna make it. Go. Now. I'll hold them off. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go. Arthur. Go to your family. Arthur! Get the hell out of here and be a goddamn man. You're my brother. I know. So Arthur hands off the hat that he got from his dad. God damn you bastards! Nice. And there he is. Black lung. Rat. You rat. I'm a survivor, Black Lung. A survivor. That's all there is. Living and dying. Oh, Black Lung. You don't know how long I've longed to do this. I blocked. After we're done, I'm gonna kill Marston too. Can't you see that one? You goddamn traitor! Still got a little fight in your have you? That's right. Come on, Arthur. Nice. That's right. Nice. Beat him up. That didn't look pathetic to me. Can't even kill a dying man. Uh 
I'm blocking! There we go. All there is winning and losing. Micah's revolver. Oh, Black Lung. You ain't gonna reach that gun. You ain't. You lost. I still have to try to kill this guy. You lost. Despite my best efforts to the country. It turns out I won. God damn you. It is over. Great. What is it? Dutch. It's over. Oh, Dutch. He's right. You know it, and I know it. Dutch is conflicted. He's sick. He's dying. Besides He's being nuts. Talking crazy. There, up there on the ring. I gave you all I had. That's brutal. I did. Uh, Come on, Dutch. Let's go, buddy. I've been through this a lot of times. We, made it. Uh, we won. I think the first Come six on. times I wept like crazy. John made it. He's the only one. This is my ninth time. The rest of us. No. But, I tried. In the end, I did. Come on. Let's go. We can make it. Come on, Dutch. Come on! Ah! Facing east. John out of there. Abigail and Jack. I don't know when Charles left. Charles was gone too. Some years later, I think that was supposed to be 1899. There's the glitchy deer.
That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. I gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should. It's always about laying low, day. but they never do. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberry. What do you know about strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry Projection. Killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. <laughs> Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a Whoa. bad influence. It's hard to control. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel or boy cow or men from the moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And there were several several times in camp. I know Sean did in chapter three. Referred to Arthur as King Arthur. You know what? I think there were a couple others also. It sure does. Been a long time. <clears throat> Why don't you pull up just here? I'm going to go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Here we are. Hello. Help wanted. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, mm. as long as it's honest. And it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, That's right. Milton. Jim Milton. Why didn't yeah. he stick with John? My wife and I. Make it boy. easy. We was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. John Milton. And now, uh, well, <laughs> we need money. Uh, there's bad folk out there. <laughs> Tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Yep. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Well, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. Okay.
Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Okay. Look, oh. Kitty. Yeah. Kitty. Come on, Rockstar, you gotta let us pet the cat. DLC, pet the cat. His goods damage. Of course. All right. I'm gonna get that marker off of there. Here we go. Pronghorn Ranch. West past Owen Chila, then follow the road north. Okay. There's Owen Gila.
dynamite didn't work. Delivering the goods. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yep. Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's the a gang long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man <coughs> around, boy? Here we go. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Right. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. I do mind. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Let's go. <laughs> That's my damn. Get off. Let's go get him. Whoa, whoa. All you had to do was ask. Hey, what? I'll beat you up. Like us. All we're asking is to get changed, Mr. Abel's offer. <laughs> At least I got to kill one of them. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Boy, Thank now. Don't one mention. of them. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest. And my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Desperate, though. Aside from her brother. He tricked Dutch. us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Gettys need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes <laughs> me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, That's right. a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. 
Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. The house. Epilogue Part One Pronghorn Ranch. The wheel. Didn't get the wagon in a minute. All right. Well, I'm going to stop right there. Wow. This has been crazy. Um, so we're out of chapter six now. We're beginning epilogue part one as John Marston or uh, Jimmy Milton. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.